Hello, I'm Anton. And if you also struggle to get your annotation and stamps in Snagit to be perfectly aligned, this tutorial is for you. In this situation, I have my four stamps on the left side and I want them to be perfectly aligned. Well, moving them by hand is possible, but also not that easy. So what I prefer to do instead is to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. And with that selected, I can mark all the elements that I want. I simply make a simple right click on any of the elements. In the right click menu, I can choose a range, a line, then here I have several alignment options to choose from. And as I said, I want them to be left aligned, so I'll choose left and my annotation or stamps will all perfectly be aligned. From here, I can still move them together as a single object. And once I let go, everything looks the way it should. But there's also another feature that helps you keep your stuff in line, so to speak. <laughs> and that is the canvas snapping feature. This is found under image and it is enabled by default, though you can simply use control and uh, see my colon on your keyboard to turn it on if it's not enabled. And what this feature does is the following. When you take any of the elements, annotations, shapes whatsoever, and you move them across the canvas, you should see these blue canvas snapping guidelines appearing that align the selected object with the other elements on the canvas. And you can use this as a quick, easy way just to make sure that, for example, these uh, letters A and B are perfectly center aligned and also to make sure that the C and the A align with each other. So it's a bit more manual, but it also gives you more control. And speaking of control, if you're adding an object to your screen and these canvas snapping lines are getting a little bit annoying, well, simply hold down the Alt key, which will disable the canvas snapping temporarily, allowing you to perfectly align your object. And then the second you let go of the Alt key, canvas snapping is back on and can be used again. And that's it from my side. Thanks for watching.